Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to stop this little dot. But yeah, this is Modesty33 here, aka Crystal with a C. Back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I put out one or two videos a week. I try to anyway. I do sit downs, reviews, reactions, vlogs. So if any of that interests you, make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel. You guys, I've been doing a series called Vlogging Time. And essentially, it's like where I vlog every day or really this year is almost every day up until Valentine's Day. So I actually, um, as of me now recording this, I'm currently uploading day 14. So please check that one out. I don't know when this one will be uploaded. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, you guys. But um, today is actually, yeah, the day after Valentine's Day. So February 15th. So um, you guys, I just actually am um, getting dressed. I was going to go to Charlotte for a little bit um, just to check out a few things um, at the mall. So, um, I may, in fact, bring you guys along. I may be going to like Nima Marcus and in, in like inside some boutiques, which I know they don't really want you to film. So I'm going to be respectful. I don't really like to be pulling out my camera, like, or it's not a camera, it's a phone. And that's why I prefer personally to vlog on the phone, even though the quality isn't necessarily the best, but I feel like it's a red flag when you come into a store with a camera. As opposed to like if I'm on my phone, I could be talking to somebody, you know, you can make it more um, inconspicuous. So that's why I personally like to have a phone as opposed to like a camera. Um, and I'm not, you know, all that up there anyway, as far as to be having a camera or buying a camera at this moment in time. So I have to multitask and have items that multitask for me, which is why my phone does everything. So um, anyway, guys, but I just wanted to show you quickly my alpha of the day. Um, but yeah, I am going to Charlotte just to check out a few things. I wanted to get some more lotion from Lush. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do because I have a little bit left of um, my one lotion, which is the Sleepy. But um, it's like, if you know anything about Lush, they have a system almost like MAC makeup where, you know, with MAC, if you have six empty containers, then they'll um, give you like a free lipstick or I think maybe an eyeshadow. Um, if you turn in like, you know, that's, that's part of their recycling program at Mac. Well, Lush has something similar where if you bring back five empty containers that are, you know, like cleaned out, they do recycle and they'll give you like a face mask. So, um, I have five containers, but not all of them are empty. So like the last one is I have a little bit left of the sleepy. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with that because I don't want to take these containers with me to Houston. You know, again, it's just unnecessary space. So I really want to go ahead and turn in all five of these and get like a little, they give you like a little face mask. Now I did get a face mask last time. I really hated it to be honest. So I'm going to try another one. Maybe it was just that particular mask. We'll see. Cause I felt like I put it on my face and it just crumbled and got everywhere, which was horrible. Um, so I really prefer the other masks that I typically use either the Sephora, you know, store brand mask or the Basia mask that I've been using but um you know it is free so after you turn in the five items it you know it does look to be well made maybe I'll just try another mask and see how that works out so I am interested in getting like again turning in those five containers and you know again minimizing on space and getting a mask the other thing too is I was thinking about getting like a bath bomb or ball yeah like a like you know like the little balls that you put in your little bathtub I was thinking about that, you guys, because again, this is like something new out of the box for me because you guys like I've been in my home for eight years and in eight years time, I have never taken a bath in like the tub that's in my bathroom. So <laughs> I have never in eight years taken a bath, but I felt like it may be a good time to do it since again, I'm selling the house. I won't get the opportunity again. So I was thinking about getting a bath bomb uh, to take a bath. Like, I mean... So like I said, Valentine's is every day. So just because I miss Valentine's does not mean I can't, you know, do the little pamper treatment and take a bath. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm a shower person. I'm exclusively a shower person, which is funny though. In my last apartment, I did take baths, not frequently. Um, but that's like the last time I've taken a bath actually was in my apartment. But yeah, since I've, I've been in the house, I have not taken a bath in the, in the big like garden tub. It's a shame. I know. But um, yeah, like that's what the plan um, 
like that's tentatively what the plan is for today. I'm sorry if you guys aren't in focus. I've just been moving the phone around. But like, let me just kind of show you guys what I'm wearing today. Um, I haven't put on my earrings yet. I just kind of got dressed. But um, as far as, I don't have any makeup on. But as far as lipstick, I'm actually wearing my Christian Louboutin et moi. I would, um, which again, you can kind of see is very similar to the Fenty Beauty Rihanna one. I just didn't feel like doing a liquid lipstick today. And so, um, again, I love this lipstick. I love this formula of Christian Louboutin lipsticks. So yeah, I decided to go with my Etimois today. And then as far as the shirt, this is just like a mustard yellow shirt from American Eagle. I have on my um, belt that I put around it just to give it a little bit more shape from um, New York and Company that I typically wear. I have these pants, purple pants here that are from Sam's Club that my mother gave me when she came and visited. Then I just have my regular black shoes that my mother does not like, but I still wear them. And then I also have this um, wrap around. You guys, I bought this years ago. I think actually back in 2015, this wrap, um, I, I forgot the actual name that you call it, but um, Afghan maybe. I don't know. That doesn't seem quite right, but maybe that is correct. But um, <clears throat> I bought this um, like actually back in 2000, I want to say 2015 from American Eagle. It was one of the first items I feel like per I, I remember purchasing from American Eagle. So I remember it was when my best friend came to visit and we went to like an outlet and we went to American um, Eagle there and I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. But I was very like frugal. Um, with as far as spending money on clothing at the time, like I'll spend money on lipsticks and like other items, but I really did not spend money on clothing like that. So it was like, I think like it, it was on sale, but it was still expensive to me because I rem I still remember exactly to the cent what I paid for this. So after, you know, my best friend was like, oh man, it's really pretty. You could wear it with a lot of stuff. So yeah, I did purchase it. It was $48 and 11 cents. So um, I still remember because it was like the most expensive thing I had purchased at the time and I wore it practically every day because I'm like, I am getting the use from this because it is gorgeous, but it will be getting worn every day. So yeah, I do still wear this you know almost four or five years later like I'll wear this um sometimes just if I'm cold in the house it's like a little wrap around or I'll wear it out sometimes but um mostly I wear it in the house I don't wear it out as much as I used to but yeah I am wearing it today it actually probably needs to be dry clean because it does have some marks and and things on here but we'll we'll see when I'll end up actually getting that done um as far as handbag I really wanted to go with you guys. Um, let me reach over here. I really actually wanted to do my Palm Springs mini today. You guys can kind of see that. And it has like the little charm, of course, that I typically wear on here as well as the bandeau. Um, yeah. So I really wanted to do my Palm Springs mini today. I'm sorry. I, you can't really see me, but... Um, I feel like actually my Chanel backpack would go better with this outfit just because of the colors. So let me reach over and show you guys that. Uh, all right. So yeah, here's my Chanel backpack. Um, hopefully you guys can kind of see. And I'll just kind of put it this way as well. So yeah, it is the um, Chanel Paris Salisbury backpack in the size large, ruthenium hardware, calfskin leather. So if you guys remember, I did get this from Fashion File. And I know Fashion File actually just sent me an email just basically saying um, that I think at the time it's like if, that um, if I wanted to sell the bag back, I could get, you know, it was telling me the amount of money I could get back for it. And there's like, at the time they said, you know, there's 15 days to monopolize on that offer. Um, yeah, I'm not selling it back at this time. <laughs> at this time, I'm not going to sell it back. Um, you know, possibly again, like I mentioned before, if I get some other bags or if it just no longer meets my style, I probably will sell it. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get, um, what I paid for it. If not more, um, backpacks are really, um, yeah, really expensive. I would say with Chanel, certain backpacks are, I felt like this one was very reasonably priced. And as you guys know, I did have the Louis Vuitton Clapton backpack and I did um, sell that one and pretty much put the money from that one toward this purchase. 
Um, and so, yeah, that's how I ended up getting this particular backpack. And then I did have this one essentially on layaway with Fashion File or Reserve is what they call it. So yeah, that's how I ended up getting this one. So I just feel like this one goes better with this outfit with the colors. So yeah, I am going to actually switch into this one today. Um, I was wearing, again, as you guys saw yesterday, my Chanel Jumbo double flap uh, caviar leather silver hardware. So yeah, I am going to actually switch into this one today. So um, I also, I'm going to actually meet you guys in the bathroom and um, share a few things. And then I'm probably going to like do a few things here at the house and then head out. So I'll see you guys in the bathroom. Bye guys. Uh, there we go. I don't know if I need to turn this a bit. But um, yeah, I literally have like these four that are empty. And so this would be like the fifth one. And I just don't want to, again, this is like essentially garbage. Like there's nothing I can do with these. Not, th not that there's nothing I can do with them. Like I can, of course, repurpose them for some reason, but I will not. So um, I really want to just go ahead and take these to Lush today and get go ahead and get a face mask because essentially the face mask is going to be this size. So I'd rather pack something that's this size as opposed to all of this with me to Houston. So um, <clears throat> I think I am going to scoop the rest of this out into like maybe a travel container and then I will have all five of these that I can go ahead and take today to Lush and get a um, face mask. And then I also, I'm thinking I want to get two more of these sleepies. This is my favorite one as far as the body lotion. Maybe get like two of these and like two of these smaller ones for travel. So that's what I'm thinking I might get today. Um, or I could get like maybe two of these, one of these. This is like 3.1 ounce. So, I mean, it's one ounce over the three, but I probably could still get away with carrying this on a um, flight as like on, you know, in one of my carry-ons. So I probably could still get away with this one. But um, these definitely are like 1.7 ounces. So they definitely meet the requirement as far as like under three ounces. So we'll see. Um, I'll figure it out when I get there. Um, so that's the one thing. The other thing I wanted to kind of show you guys or talk to you guys about, um, I wanted to actually open this. I don't know what this is, but um, one of my friends from church um, and actually um, she, yeah, she got this for me. Like probably she gave this to me over a week ago and I have not opened the box. She gave this to me along with a card because again, um, they know that I am leaving. So she decided to gift this to me. And I told her when I saw her like last week, I was like, yeah, I still haven't opened it because I just thought it was so pretty. So um, I am going to actually unbox it now and just kind of see what it is. Because I mean, it might be something to, you know, help me along my journey today. You know, you never know. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and open it and see what it is. And always try to put that little string back on. So yeah, it's a pretty box though. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, there's some like little thing that came out. So actually, this is what it is, you guys. So one of these little things came out. So let's see. It kind of matches like these little dots match the gold in that dress that I showed you guys that I um, just purchased from Walmart. So it looks like a bracelet. Oh, it's got all this like little stuff in here, you guys. I don't know if you can really see. So let me just take this out and then I can kind of show you what it is or what it says. <clears throat> let's see. So this is a bracelet, right? Hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's a bracelet and it's got these like really nice details on it. I don't know if you guys can see. But um, it says on here that she is clothed in strength and dignity. And that's from Proverbs 31. I don't know, remember exactly what scripture it is. Maybe verse 24. Um, it's somewhere like on the end of Proverbs 31 because I've read Proverbs 31 quite a, quite a bit. Um, so yeah, she got me this bracelet. It's really pretty. So yeah, really appreciate that. So I don't know. I might wear that today. We'll see. Oh, Lord, why? The little dots just fell on the ground. 
So um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, let me come over here real quick. Um, I did pack out my Chanel backpack and I just kind of want to show you guys what it looks like. So I did put on here the charm from um, my Palm Springs mini backpack and this is from Lindy's. Um, Lindy does bag charm, she does jewelry, I think she also does clothing. So um, she is a YouTuber, she you know often does these, um, hopefully you guys can kind of see it. She often does these like really blinged out bag charms, they are the gold pieces on here are like real you know plated with real gold i think it's 18 or 24 karat i'm not 100 percent positive on that but um <clears throat> but yeah so i really love this bag charm i bought it actually i think around a year ago maybe a little less than a year ago but um i think it's actually been a little less because i got this around the same time i got my square mini which i think that was like may around may of last year so, um, but I literally wear it with like, typically I'll wear this with my Palm Springs mini or I can put it on, I've put it on my jumbo before I've put it on pretty much all of my bags at one point in time. So, I mean, I feel like, um, this is a really nice alternative to like a luxury charm. It is still up there, but you know, I haven't had any problems with it. It's lasted quite a while. So I think she does make really good products. I would, you know, buy from her again. It's just that I have a bias because she uses DHL for shipping and I really don't care for DHL. I've had a few bad experiences with them and I just don't care for them as a shipper. Um, but I recently had a bad experience with USPS as well, which, um, yeah, I'm really, really upset about that. Probably that experience with USPS was, I would actually say worse than DHL to be honest. Um, because at least I could get resolution with DHL. I was not able to get any resolution with USPS. So unfortunately, but, um, yeah, this is the bag here. Um, and it's like, again, fully packed out. You can fit quite a bit in here. Um, so from my Palm Springs mini, um, I did, um, <clears throat> well from my jumbo, cause that's the bag I switched into from this one or, um, you know, I switched from into this one. So, um, I did actually, I guess I can show you guys real quick, like what's in here as far as like kind of showing you, I'm sorry, there's a glare on the other side, but um, hopefully you guys can kind of see if I turn it this way. This is like everything that's like in here. So I actually have not been carrying my mini pochette, but you'll kind of see it like down in the front here next to my um, toiletry 15. So I am able to fit that in here and I'm actually able to fit more things in here on the top, but um, this is good for me today. So um, it does fit quite a bit and I probably will actually put my like wet wipes in here. That's the only other thing that's missing. And then I can also like fit my cell phone and my keys in this back pocket here, which is like really deep. So yeah, they'll both fit in there and I could wear it, you know, on as a top handle or I can just wear it as a regular backpack. So that's really cool. These are the Gucci loafers. My first time trying them on you guys. This is in the color wheat. So we figured out I'm a size 41. <clears throat> They're very comfortable. Now I was worried that they would like make a jingling noise, but they actually don't when I walk. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, and these are convertible. So you can actually wear them with the back end. I think they retail for $730. So yes, this is my outfit again of the day. My phone's about to die, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and probably stop recording here, but just kind of wanted to show you guys. Yeah, but this, again, is in the color wheat, which is almost like a tan. It's really pretty, and it even goes nicely with these purple jeans and um, mustard yellow top that I'm wearing, so I really like them. Hey guys, I'm back. So I do apologize. Like I really wanted to film more when I was in Charlotte. However, my phone died. And not only that, like the charger that I have for my phone, it just, yeah, I forgot to charge it. So I had like, you know, right after I filmed that scene as far as the Gucci loafers and kind of showing those to you guys, like my phone literally died. So um, I did go to quite a few places in the mall. Um, however, yeah, I wasn't able to film them. Most of them I really wouldn't have been able to film anyway. I was like, started off in like Nima Marcus and went to like the Chanel boutique. I also went to YSL and um, I went to like the shoe section where they have all the like, you know, designer shoes, the Christian Louboutins, Valentino, 
Chanel, Gucci, um, <clears throat> Um, all of those were like over there. And like I mentioned before, I do apologize. I have to keep clearing my throat because I'm not feeling the best. So my throat just gets kind of dry. So um, yeah, like I did go um, to all of those areas. I went to the Chanel boutique. Really like I was really wanting to look at the Chanel um, XXL, the small XXL because I've seen the bigger one before, but I wanted to actually see the small one, but they didn't have any. And then I also wanted to see the Chanel 19 bag, but they didn't have any. What is like, let me tell you though, what it was so awesome about today and what's so awesome about like being in a city and being like, I don't want to say just being in a city, but like the mall was like packed out today. Like y'all, like I'm a person, I'm very observative of like, especially since I've gotten into luxury, I am observative of like people's bags, um, shoes to a certain extent. Um, clothing, not to judge people, but because I, you know, like when I identify other people who like luxury, like, you know, it's almost like, hey, we have some type of camaraderie, so to speak, without even speaking. So it was really cool going into the Chanel boutique because I wasn't able to see, um, although I wasn't able to see any of the bags I wanted to see, the lady who was in there who was looking at a like costume jewelry piece, she actually had the Chanel a small XXL. So I think her name was Sharon. She and I got to talking for quite a bit. She was telling me about the bag, showing me the bag, you know, cause <clears throat> again, they didn't have it in the store. She had a black one um, with gold hardware, which I don't want black. Um, really, I think the one that I like in that bag is like the gold one that has, you know, the gold hardware. Um, I really like that bag. I've seen that one in person when we were in Italy. Um, and then I also like, no, you know, saw like somebody do an unboxing of it. <clears throat> But um, yeah, her black one with gold hardware, I didn't really too much like it. Um, you know, it just kind of looked like an oversized flap, um, but unstructured. So I didn't, it just kind of looked like a floppy bag. So I didn't really like the one in the blue. But again, I've seen the gold one and I really did like the gold one. So that's something to think about. And then I really wanted to see again the Chanel 19 bag. They didn't have it. However, there was, um, you know, a woman, I think she came in with like, I don't, it could have just been her friend or boyfriend or whomever. Um, and she had a Chanel 19 bag. Hers was black with gold hardware. I didn't get an opportunity to really speak to her because they kind of came in and went out and I was still talking to the other lady, Sharon. But um, I did get to see the Chanel 19 bag, which is a very beautiful bag. I really hope to, um, you know, when I do move next month, I really hope to go and kind of like see it in person if they have any. I know when I went back in December, they didn't have any and they didn't have any of the small XXL either. They did have the bigger one, but they didn't have the small one. So um, <clears throat> that was really cool. I got my dose of like all these people walking around the mall with their luxury pieces, which was, you know, pretty dope. Um, Cause I just love to see like other people and the different bags that they have. I saw somebody with like, um, the no way that, you know, again, that I have, but it's going to go to my mother. I saw somebody carrying the no way, but it was in the Dami Azure. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen one of those in person. That's pretty cool. Still don't make me want to keep my bag though. But anyway, it was still nice to see somebody carrying that bag. I, I don't know. I saw a lot of people with Neverfulls that had the Mon monogram. That was really cool too. So I was like, oh my gosh, I love being in the city and seeing all the people in their luxury bags. So all, all, all the other people who enjoy luxury, you know, like I do. So um, that was pretty cool. Um, then I ended up going to YSL. I've never actually went to like the little YSL area, um, but I did actually look at the Lulu bag, which is really popular and trending right now. Um, there's the puffer one, <clears throat> which they did have that one. Like it was in like the navy color. It was really beautiful, but um. I was looking at it, I think they had it in the size medium. And I really want like a big bag, y'all. I want a really big bag. <laughs> and so medium was not big enough. It was a pretty bag, but it was not, you know, big enough. And then, so she did, um, the sales associate did bring out um, a Lulu that was um, black with gold hardware. And it was like the large. And um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't get any pictures of that one, but she did bring it out. I did try it on. Um, <clears throat> it really to me wasn't big enough for like, she said people carry it as like a work bag. Um, it kind of to me was, it reminded me of my Chanel jumbo and maybe it was a bit taller than the jumbo. So maybe probably like the dimensions of a maxi. Um, 
I know that, you know, I put it on and it looked nice. However, like it has like a divider on the inside and you know, that's cool for my Pochette Matisse, which is like a kind of like a medium size bag and a crossbody. But like if I want a big bag, I don't I don't want dividers like I have my own pouches and stuff. So that's what I really didn't like about the bag is that it had like the little divider in the middle. But, it you know, it's a big bag. But to me, the capacity isn't really that much with the divider. So, yeah, that bag was a no. And they only had it in the black with the gold hardware, which I don't think I want another black bag that big. Um <clears throat> as far as like a luxury bag anyway. Um, let me get my water, y'all, because I'm, I feel like I'm clearing my throat a good bit. And when I do all this talking, my mouth gets dry. I'll be right back, guys. And we're back with the Evian. So um, hopefully I won't have to clear my throat as much. But um, anyway, so I did go look at that bag and it was the YSL Lulu bag. Um, it did have feet at the bottom, which was really nice. But um, it just did not have the interior capacity that I would have liked for a bag of that size. So, you know, went off. Um, from there, I went to the shoe section. That's where I had a bit more success. Um, I actually did see, like, you know, they had quite a few pairs of Gucci loafers. And I tried one of them on. And that's the one that, you know, you'll see in the previous clip. And essentially, um, <clears throat> like, those were in the color. The color was called Wheat. And um, she had to definitely like size me to see like what, you know, size I am as far as the Gucci shoes are. And um, so what the, the shoes that were like really the size that was most comfortable was the size 41, which I don't know what that equates to, what 41 equates to in like American sizes, but it's probably big. But um, yeah, the 41 was really comfortable. It was a little loose in the back. So maybe... Um, I don't know. I don't know if I would do a 41 or a 40 because I didn't actually get the opportunity to try on the 40 because I tried on the 41 and it just seemed like it fit really well. And then it was also loose. So I tried on the Gucci Prince Town loafers, which um, you can wear them the two ways. You can wear it with the it has the back side um, that you can also like kind of put down the back and kind of wear it as a slide. So um those are the ones I tried on in the color wheat. I think I was concerned that the little bit that's in the front like maybe like when um you would walk that it would like, you know, ching or move, but actually it did not. So that was really refreshing that the shoe does not make noise. So um I really like those shoes. They were really comfortable. And even with what I was wearing, the color wheat, I felt like really brought out the colors of like um the other items I was wearing. So I really did like those. They're like more of like a tan color. I don't know if you guys can really see that um, from the video, the little clip that I took. But yeah, they're like a tan color, but they're really, really pretty. Um, I don't know what color I would actually purchase those in because they, you know, they, they're luxury shoes. So they're quite up there in price. So, you know, I couldn't just say, hey, give me three pairs of these like I do when I go to Rack Room Shoes. And even Rack Room Shoes, like, you know, when I buy a pair of shoes for like $50, $60, you know, that's kind of up there to me. I'm not going to lie. So the jump to luxury is definitely for me a jump. But um, I do just want to be more mindful and cognizant of that because even like I want to have more balance like as far as my clothing and my shoes, my shoes. So you can have nice clothes, but if you don't have the right shoes, it doesn't set the outfit off. Um, and you can have, you know, nice shoes, but if you don't have the right outfit with it, you know, again, it's a balance. So that's what I'm really working on this year. In addition to clothing, I really have to make sure my shoes are right. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, all of my shoes have to, you know, transfer to luxury because that's not going to happen. But I would like a few nicer luxury daily, you know, some of them anyway, daily shoes, because if you're going to spend that much, they might as well be daily every day, you know, slippers when you go to bed, like they might as well be. So um, that's kind of my attitude about it. But I could definitely see wearing those type of shoes. Um, like every day or very frequently. They were really, really comfortable. So I have to say that about Gucci. Um, I didn't try on any other shoes. I just only tried on those. Um, <clears throat> so I'll probably check those out when I do move next month and just kind of like, you know, check them out further. You know, maybe once all of this is said and done, um, I might, you know, add a pair of those before I start work. We'll see though. We'll see though, you guys. There's just a lot of stuff in between. So, you know, responsibly and like we said about taking, you know, financial stability and all of that with my vision board, 
you know, I couldn't in good conscience try to buy them now when there's still so much that's, uh, that still needs to be done. Like I still need to pick a moving company, all that. So that's just not a priority. Um, so I believe they'll be there in Houston when I get there. So it's fine. Um, the other thing too, um, I did go into Louis Vuitton, but it was really packed out. Like the whole mall was packed out today. So I think all the people who didn't go out yesterday for Valentine's, they said they was going to get their Valentine today. So I think everybody had the same idea and it was really, really crowded. So there were a lot of people in Louis Vuitton. So I just kind of briefly kind of walked around and looked. Um, I guess I went in there when I went to Louis Vuitton, I wanted to look at the toiletry 19, which is on my wish list. <clears throat> However, I've already actually seen the 19 in person because my best friend has one. And then, um, I think when we went to Houston in December that I saw one, no, we didn't see one because they said that they had it in stock, but they didn't actually when they went to check. So, um, but I've seen the, the toiletry 19 before anyway, I know how the toiletry works. So I just was kind of going just to look at it, but there was no need. So I just walked in, walked out of Louis Vuitton, um, went to Lush, and I want to show you guys everything that I got from Lush. I spoke with like a really nice lady <clears throat> in Lush, and so she really helped me out a lot, you know, as far as picking a few items that I was unfamiliar with. So I wanted to show that to you guys. So um, first off, I did turn in the five items, you know, empty containers, and I did... Um, put my lotion in another container or yeah, the other, the remainder of the sleepy body lotion that I had, I put in another container. I did turn in those five containers and I did get a uh, facial mask, which I'll probably use tonight just to see how it works. So <clears throat> let me show you guys the mask. So this one, I got this one because like I told y'all before, the last one was horrible. Um, so hopefully this one is good. Um, you know, again, she was saying that this one is good for brightening. The last one's supposed to be good for brightening too, but it just crumbled off of my face. This one is called, um, hopefully you guys can see it. It says, don't look at me. And let me show you guys what it looks like. So I got this for free. Oh, that smells really good. I liked it cause it was blue as well. So we're going to keep this one out cause I am going to use this one tonight. So it looks a lot smoother than the other one. So hopefully it will glide onto my face and we will not have any issues. So that's the first one. Um, I don't know what this actually retails for. <clears throat> so um, you just have to kind of look on the website and see, but this is the packaging. This is what it looks like. So you see, you, it's like a one point. Well, actually this is a 2.1 ounce actually. I don't know, I thought this was 1.7 ounces, but it's 2.1 is what the container says. So um, you can actually get quite a few uses out of these. I imagine you could get like two or three uses at least. And you do have to refrigerate this. So it is, you know, natural ingredients. So that's the first thing I got with the five items that I turned in. Um, empty containers. The next thing I got was, um, and this is a big bag, but really I didn't get a whole lot. You guys, this is just a bag that they gave me. But the next thing I got, um, I did get, this is really weird because these packages look about the same well i guess this one is a little bit bigger this is the facial mask and this is actually the body lotion <clears throat> and this is 1.7 ounces i got this one this is the charity pot and i really like the smell of this one it's very light um with this one like 100 percent of the proceeds go to charity and it kind of gives you like a picture of the charity that it goes to so this work like like retails for 7.95 this one does so um yeah, this one, yeah, that's pretty cool. So this one goes to Burke's Gas Truth, Fighting Fracking and Shale Gas Infrastructure in Pennsylvania. So whatever that means, I don't, I don't know. I'm not hip to that. <clears throat> but that's cool that like 100% of the proceeds of that one goes directly to charity. So the other one I got was my tried and true favorite, and this is the Sleepy. This one retails for $19.95. It is 7.4 ounces. Um, you guys have probably seen this one before, and it's this container here. So this will last me definitely like beyond you know my departure. So and that's what I wanted. So I didn't, I was gonna get two of these, but I didn't want to have again all these containers. So this one should be sufficient, as well as the charity pot, as far as my um lotion needs my moisture needs so i got those 
Then I ventured out, you guys. I ventured out. And let me see if it has on the receipt what else, like what I got, like what it's called. Okay, it does. Awesome. So <clears throat> I ended up getting um, some bath bombs. Um, I think that's what they're called. But um, I was really excited to get these. So the first one that's in here that I got, I'm going to um, give you guys the name of it. It is the turmeric latte bath bomb. <clears throat> Let me show you what it looks like. So these you put in your bath when you take a bath. Like I mentioned before earlier in the video, you guys, I've not taken a bath in, um, well, I've not taken a bath in eight years. Like, let's, let me just be honest. I'm a shower girl. Um, and yeah, like I don't, I don't know why it is that I just have never taken a bath in my tub. It's a garden tub. It's beautiful next to the shower. But I guess because too, like, I just feel like, I don't know, like baths just take a long time. And I, I always be trying to like rush and get to where I need to get to. So <clears throat> it is time for a bath again. So this is what this one looks like. Um, immediately what I noticed about this one was the smell. It really smelled so good to me. It had a nice fragrance and like, it was funny that, um, you know, the lady who was helping me, um, she showed me like all kind of other like little bath bombs. And, um, she was like, Oh, how does this smell? How do you think that smells? I was like, Oh, it's cool. You know, it doesn't really have much of a scent. And then she came to like this one and I was like, Oh, I like that one because I just smelled it. And um, I really like the fragrance of that one. She's like, oh, that's my favorite one. I'm like, girl, we could have been got to that one. Like, come on now. So she gave me a demo of like how it worked. Um, essentially, they had some water at the front. She dropped it in. Um, she was just kind of mixing it around. And like, you know, I put my hand in it. And she's like, oh, you can feel the moisture and all of that. So really, you know, the purpose, she said, it's just like for relaxing. Um, you know, it's this one, the turmeric. Um, I think it has ginger and some other things, of course, in it. It's all natural. <clears throat> um, so she said this is good with your pH. Um, women, you know. So she said it is good with your pH because I, I was like, I don't need nothing burning me now. So um, she said that she uses it, never has any problems. Um, and also that, you know, it has really good healing properties and as well as... Um, What's the other thing that she used? Yeah, it really helps with inflammation. And as you guys know, like I've mentioned before, um, I do have, you know, issues with my back, which have been actually improving throughout the week. Um, but I always feel a little bit of a pinch um, to a certain extent. And I have gone to the doctor and everything for it. So, I mean, they just say, hey, you know, keep working out. So, <laughs> um, that that's <coughs> pretty much the response I got. <coughs> mm. Excuse me, guys. So that one retailed for $7.95. Um, I probably will be using that one tonight. So really excited about that one. The other one I got here, um, I'm not going to open it, but um, I feel like they keep it wrapped up like this for a reason. So I'm actually going to use the turmeric one, but this one I'm going to keep wrapped up. But this is actually the um, deep sleep. Uh, I don't know what that says. But it's like the deep sleep one. It's like lavender, chamomile. So it's just really good for like, you know, before you go to sleep. So that's this one. This one retailed for $7.95 as well. So that's everything that I got from Lush, you guys. I'm just going to put it all back in the bag. <clears throat> so yeah, um, had a good old grand time. I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to need to do that mask soon so yeah i look forward to doing the bath bombs and i'll tell you guys like how they are once i do them um what else did i do um i went to cheesecake factory which was packed out you guys oh my gosh all i wanted was like a slice of cheesecake and it took like over 30 minutes but um <clears throat> i did go and do that um pretty much hold on okay i'm sorry you guys my phone was dying yet again so i had to get the charger and plug it up but pretty much after that, you guys, I headed home. So before we end the video, I did want to show you guys a few other things. But as you can see, I'm like really trying to branch out, you guys, and do different things already for 2020. So um, I wanted to show you guys um, my iPod Touch. Y'all, I've had this case for my iPod 
pretty much since I bought it, this one right here. Um, what's and the only reason I show you guys this case is this is like today's the first day I ever actually put the case on my iPod. Usually I have this one, which is actually like my favorite case, and I am actually gonna switch back into this one. Um, this one, I think I got both of these from Amazon, but this one is like just a very full coverage case. And I think too, when it's like, um, fully in the case, this is also water resistant. It has this little cord on here. So I love this case for my iPod touch, but I've had this one. I bought them both at the same time and I've never used this. So I said, today's the day I took, um, you know, this case off and I put this one on. You know, and it actually makes, um, you know, the iPod, it makes it a bit lighter and not take up as much room or space because that is like a full coverage case. So just want to show this one to you guys. Um, yeah. So that's one little knickknack I wanted to show you. Um, the other thing or the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is like my devotional this morning or this afternoon rather because I wasn't good enough to do it this morning. But um, I want to read a little bit of you of it to you guys. <clears throat> Um, before we end off the video, because it was really good and it kind of went in line with what I talked about yesterday as far as, you know, my 2020 vision board. So I just want to end off with this. So the um, devotional for today is called Against the Odds. So it says, um, you will chase your enemies and they shall fall by the sword before you. Five of you shall chase a hundred and a hundred of you shall put 10,000 to flight. Your enemies shall fall by the sword before you. That's out of Leviticus 26, chapter 26, verse 7 through 8. Read it for yourself. Get an understanding for yourself. I'm just going to read the first portion of this as far as like what I gained from it. Um, and it says, without a challenge, many people tend to fall or fade away. Charles Noble observed, you must have a long range vision to keep you from being frustrated by short term failures. Vision helps people with motivation. Y'all. <clears throat> Y'all. Yeah, that's all I'm going to read. I mean, it goes on to say more, but that right there was like, drop the mic. Like, yo, like when I talk to y'all about my vision board for 2020, y'all like every year I try to do a vision board. I try to like, you know, really project and really put in the atmosphere as far as like, you know, when I pray, having focused prayers about things that I really want to see happen, things that I really am believing God for. And like, y'all, like really having those long-term visions like or you know well even just the long-term vision the things that I'm actively like really trying to seek God for I'm really trying to walk in order steps and pursue like that has what has kept me from becoming seriously like depressed with so many short-term failures so you guys like sometimes like I just want to encourage you and just say like sometimes it, you know, it may take you longer to get to a certain place than it does other people. And that can sometimes be discouraging because it seems like everybody is getting this thing around you or they're arriving and you are still trying to get off the block. You know what I'm saying? So you, you feel like, dang, like well, what's going on with me? Um, comparison is the enemy of progress. Number one. Um, number two, like we all have different journeys that we take in life. We all aren't going to arrive, um, even though we might get, um, you know, a we all might want a particular thing in our life. Um, that doesn't mean we're all going to get there the same way, or we're all going to arrive to that thing the same way. So you just have to really be patient with yourself, be patient with God, really continue to make your requests known. And even though you might have a setback, just be, like always repeat the vision that you have and that God has given you over your life, like keep repeating that thing to yourself to keep yourself encouraged. Because y'all like, if I just did not have a vision, and that's why I really encourage you to like really see God for the vision for your life and um, the purpose and plan. Like if I did not have a vision, y'all, like I've been out here doing some crazy stuff. I've been out here depressed, probably on some medication, like for real, for real. Um, but it's really though that vision that keeps me like so motivated that keeps me driven that keeps me being led by god that keeps me encouraged that keeps me like patient and kind gentle to people even like like you know again when things i feel like are not happening or they're not happening as quickly as i like them to happen of course they're not coming together that's what keeps me motivated and encouraged you guys it's just knowing the vision and staying true to the vision, like continuing to like seek God for the vision, like 
God has it changed. Am I still going in the right direction? Okay, cool. So, um, you know, and just really like continuing to like, you know, walk this thing out and trust God. So, um, I just want to encourage you guys with that because that's exactly what I was trying to communicate or like what I was saying as far as my 2020 vision board and why I encourage you guys to do that because like guys, things are going to happen. Um, things, some things are going to fall apart. They're not going to come together the way you want them to, but you just have to keep repeating the overall vision that God has given you for real, for real. Um, and keep pursuing that thing in spite of setbacks, in spite of what, you know, Susie Q is over here doing or Johnny, you know, John Doe, whatever people to the side or in front of you are doing, you have to really, you know, keep the blinders on and really focus on God for the vision that he has for your life. So that's all I wanted to say, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry again, I wasn't able to like film more clips, but yeah, like I said, like my phone died, which is so horrible, but expect more clips in the future from more shopping trips and you know, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy, but if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure you share, subscribe, um, and comment below. Let me know what you guys, um, you know, let me know what you guys may have bought yourself for Valentine's Day. If you bought yourself anything, I actually have to make out my cards, which I do every year. These might be some St. Patrick's Day cards at this rate. Um, like, uh, I usually make out cards and like, I know it might seem kind of juvenile, but I make out cards every year for Valentine's Day, give them to like my friends um and just you know really try to encourage them because you never know what people are going through but you know just let people know that i love you i see you and keep you know keep on doing what you're doing because you're doing it so um i try to make out those cards every year i had the cards i just have not sat down and made them out maybe i'll take my little nice bath with my lush bath bomb and i'll start writing some cards we'll see anyway guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye guys